wearing the green olive shirt, specifically from some stupid babies who said, where's the green olive shirt? So here you go. What did they want it? They want to see your nipples? Maybe. <laughs>Welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. Corbin. Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter, Twitter for more juicy, juicy content. content. It's the so content juicy. is so juicy, it falls out of your mouth. Thank you for this for us on Patreon. Yeah. Follow on us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Yeah, like I said, it falls right out of your mouth. So you all came to us on the day of our daughter's wedding. Today, we are reacting to the first look for... How would you pronounce that? Talavai. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. We're getting so few of them these days. Uh, I'll take it. Um, Talavali. It just dropped. It's, it's a, 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 a... What kind of film? Uh, Tamil. <sighs> okay. You suck. Yes, a biopic on, on Tamil Nadu's most beloved chief minister. And that's the pronunciation of Jayalatya. And it's, I guess I, I'm it's, totally... It's with Vijay and... Kangana Ranao. Renal, that seems like a French last name. We know her very well, actually. Coming out June, 26 <laughs> June, 2020. And so this is a first True story, look. first look. So I'm assuming it's like a teaser right. kind of thing, uh, unfortunately, but just dropped this morning. So let's... Which makes me think that somebody has gone through, <laughs> will have gone through a radical transformation physically or makeup to look and resemble this person, maybe? That's what one of the, we're getting a first look, maybe? Maybe, here we go. Master ready? Ready, sir. Clapping. Start camera. Okay. Speed. Speed. Shot number two, take one. She playing Sri Devi? That was my thought immediately when she came out. that 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 is his exact birthday not just the day but the year but also why wouldn't they have it released on that day <laughs> you really got it off by two days come on <laughs> i'm confused I'm, i know weird okay um but yeah that looked actually i don't know this person nope but i know that actress and it looks like anytime somebody and i love it when they do that when when the studio or the director or whomever makes the final decision about it, and it's typically the studio, says that the actor playing the character isn't just in the film, but they are as, you know, they, they are that person, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so um, we were stupid. I knew I knew the name. I just, for some reason, it's early. I have it's Queen. Copy. It's the, the from um, Tanu Wed, Wed Maru and uh, the, uh, the mental one. Um, with uh, Rashmar Rao that came out earlier this year. The, uh, uh, it just came out um, earlier. What was it called? The Mental. Uh, Judgmental High Kai. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, I couldn't remember what it was called. But yep. yeah, uh, so, uh, and she's Metacarnica. She's... So, like, don't even mention the name of that film to me. Yeah, but she's, <laughs> she, uh, well, obviously she was brilliant in Queen. Uh, and we know her clout. She's yeah. one of the best actresses acting in Correct. Uh, in India right now. So that intrigues me. It also intrigues me that it's directed, directed by, by VJ. VJ. 
Has he directed other films? Am I just an idiot? Is this the same VJ? <laughs> that happens all the time for us. It's directed by A.L. VJ. So, who just goes by VJ, which is not the same VJ that we know as VJ. Yeah. So, so now we have three VJs. Why would they just put VJ if there's 10,000 VJs? How do we know it? I don't know. Yeah, it was like being it's like a film by Madonna, starring Madonna. And it's like, wait, who? Which Madonna are we talking about? <laughs> well, if it's Madonna, it's only going to be one Madonna. That's true. There's no other Madonnas on the planet, I'm pretty sure. I bet there are. They were named after Madonna. That's weird. Yeah. That's not something... You, like, you can't name your kid Oprah. That's true. Or, yeah. like, Cher. You know what happens if you clone Cher? You get Cher and Cher alike. Why are you doing that? Because it would annoy you. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that actually looked pretty dang good to me. Yeah. Um, I, it, I don't know this person. At first, I thought she was playing, like, Shri Devi. Shri Devi. Right? right? Yeah, when she jumped out, like, I was like, okay, is like this a... Young Shri Devi. Yeah. But um, new. I think it's it's clearly this person, and let us know. I'm pretty sure we're going to hear that this is a person from history that we need to know about. Um, and if there's, like, information about this person, if, like, it's the person like, we need to learn about, especially before the film. Yep. Um, please let us know and uh, send us that information. Um, hold on, let me try. And what are the odds that this is going to get a release where we'll get it here in the States? It will. It's T-Series. Oh, yeah. Yep. It will. Um, T-Series, you know. And so it probably means it's getting some good musical numbers in it, too. Yeah, it'll, it'll have good music. There's one thing that T-Series does really, really well. Making catchy songs. You, well, you know what I've discovered from the majority of the Indian films, trailers, teasers, and things that we've seen? Mm. Indians know how to make great music, man. Every region. I mean, there's, there's some movies that I just... The movie itself didn't sit with me that well, but the music was great. So this is an upcoming 2020 Indian multilingual biographical film directed by A.L. Vijay and produced by Vishnu Indori and uh, Shalish R. Singh under the respective banners, Vibri and Karma Media. The story is about the life of late politician and former actress. Oh! There you go. Um, Y'all have those too? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's true. <laughs> that happens quite a bit, actually. That's dumb. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't want to get into that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, is that it? Uh, yeah, that's um, it. And then it just talks about the theatrical release coming when it's coming. And okay. So, so nothing she, really different. It's just it's. So she was an like, actress, an actress. I'm who guessing like Sri Devi's time, basically. It, that's looked, what it looked like it, it looked did like old school. It looked like old bit. school, like late sixties. Yep. Hmm. So has she? Very interesting. No, she has because she played Mana Karnika. So I was wondering if she had played a real person yet. Yeah, well, there you go. Manna Karnika, I believe, was a Which real wasn't, wasn't that the second trailer we ever reacted to? Mm -hmm. And we've yet to see that film. It got mixed reviews. Some people said yeah, some people said don't. Then that's why. Um, so it's, it's one of those things. If it's like really mixed, we don't know. That's true. Go in it right away. No, we'll take our time and get to the ones that everybody else is jumping up and down about. No, we don't like to uh, waste our time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but unless... If it came out now, we would have seen it in theaters. Regardless. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. If it's hitting theaters here, then it's probably worth, probably, because we didn't do that with Kalunk, because that thing went Kalunk. <laughs> Thank God we didn't see it. That was apparently like... Wow, yeah, everybody was... Oh, God. Blistering that thing. Oh, that is... Which was unfortunate. I know. Like, because it looked good. It did. It looked... And I wonder how bad it is. Like, the, the quintessential Her... worst American film of all time is supposed to be Ishtar. Ishtar was with Dustin Hoffman and Warren Beatty, and I think it was 1981, 82, and it was at the time one of the biggest budget films ever. They were way over budget, and it transcendently flopped. But it actually isn't that awful of a film. Mm. Uh, there's a lot worse films. That one's not that bad. I don't know. Yeah. Have you ever seen Ishtar? No. I, mean, it's, I wouldn't go out of your way to watch it, but if you ever did watch it, you'd leave and go... When did it come out? Oh, well, not bad. I think it was like 81. Mm. Early 1980s. Warren Beatty, Dustin Hoffman. They'd reverse roles because typically Warren Beatty plays the macho love interest sex symbol and Dustin Hoffman plays the quirky, nerdy guy. And they switch those roles. Warren Beatty plays the quirky, nerdy guy. And there's actually some pretty funny moments. They're, they're songwriters that want to be the next like Simon and Garfunkel, mm. but they're awful. And they think they're great. 
Oh. So it's got some really funny moments in it, and Beatty and Hoffman are always good. So it's just, it's not that dreadful. I, yeah, I think, um, from what I heard, Kalunk was like a colossal, a, a colossal, awful, awful film. film. Like, just bad on every, every level. level. Yeah. Even the acting, like, Omnia? Bad I acting? Know. I have no idea. That's hard to believe. I don't, it probably wasn't her, but writing might have been terrible, and. Yeah. Uh, it really is true. There are some, there isn't an actor good enough to get past bad Right, and when I talk about bad writing, I've seen some great actors trying to do their best with bad with bad writing, and it's just painful to watch because you know they're struggling with what they're working with. There's, you know, what I noticed it in that one episode in Breaking Bad. Oh, they're doing their best with what they got because they got poop for that episode. Anyways, that's not what this no. reaction's about, so no. sorry. What else can we talk about right now? <laughs> <laughs>